Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your Acer Liquid. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for how to load a custom ROM on the Acer Liquid procedure. Okay, before we begin, we're going to assume that you have done our how to root the Acer Liquid procedure. If you haven't, click on that link there and then you can go through and do that. Then you can come to this procedure and continue. Okay, so first we're going to plug our phone into the USB. And then set it down. Okay, once the phone's plugged in via USB, uh, you need to download the Superboot 2.zip file if you don't already have it from our rooting procedure, which you should. Um, so click on that and download it if you don't already have it, and then we can continue. Okay, once you download the Superboot 2 if you didn't already have it, you're going to right-click it, extract all, and let it extract. Okay, once you've extracted the Subaru 2, we're going to open the folder. And then we are going to uh, right click on Reboot 2 Recovery and run as administrator. And our phone should reboot into recovery mode. Okay, once the phone boots into recovery, you can download whatever ROM you want from our Acer Liquid ROM section. There's a link right here. And you'll see we have a few here. We'll just do the community ROM. Uh, click on it. You'll be taken to the developer's page. And then you can find the uh, sign.zip, which would be the ROM itself. Save it to your computer, and we can continue. Okay, once we've downloaded the ROM, uh, we're going to go on our phone in recovery mode, and we're going to use the volume arrows to go down to UMS on, push the menu button to select it, and this will mount our SD card. Okay, now we're going to take the ROM that we want, leave it in .zip format, and we're going to drag it over to our phone's SD card and drop it. And remember, do not put it in any folder on the SD card, just on the SD card itself, so that the path is just SD card and then the folder. Okay, now back on our phone in recovery mode, we can select UMS off. This will unmount the SD card. And now we can select Nandroid Backup. Press the home key to confirm, and let it back up. Okay, once the backup's done, you can now scroll down to wipe data factory reset. Press home to confirm. Wait for it to wipe. And the phone should reboot. Okay, once the phone reboots back into recovery mode, we can scroll down to apply any zip from SD card. And then you'll see that's the ROM that we loaded on. Press home to confirm. And wait till that finishes flashing. Okay, it'll say install from SD card complete when it's done. Select reboot system now. And the phone should reboot and you should be running your custom ROM. Enjoy.